What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome to episode number 38 of the Ultimate Team. We're just going to start this episode off by showing you the sales that I made from the players that I got. First of all in that gold pack that I opened uh, in yesterday's episode and secondly from the teams that I've been selling on. Finally got rid of uh, Vice and Bia Biani and uh, sold on all of those um, those crappy players that I've been using basically uh, just because I've been trying to get rid of them. Now guys in the last episode we reached over two and a half thousand likes that's an awesome achievement if we could try and aim for over that again this episode that would be absolutely fantastic. I do appreciate all your guys support in this series and all the others that I'm doing. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the pack opening battle between myself and AA that will be uploaded at around midnight every single night for the foreseeable future so for those of you that are up late night you might want to go and check that out and also check out AA's channel as well you'll see his side of the pack opening on there as you can see I'm just listing up some of these players again that uh, didn't sell the first time around and discarding some of the uh, the bronze players that I know aren't going to sell. Uh, usually you can sell the English bronze players, but I've listed these guys up now for just hours and hours and hours, and they're not selling. So I'm finally going to quick sell them and get the coins back. And we've got 52,000 coins, but I have built another team for this uh, this tournament, this transfer window cup that I really want to win because you get 4,000 coins for winning it. As you can see, I've only got a two-star team now, um, and I've changed things around a lot with this team. So I've got a 4-3-3 formation. I've got Steve Hunt in goal. Sorry, Steve Harper in goal. Jack Hunt at right back. Anton Ferdinand as a centre back along with Terrell Forbes. You can see the prices that I paid in the bottom right hand corner just there. And at left back I've got Matty Robson. Great pace, very good defending and all round pretty decent player to be honest. Centre midfield I've got Oscar Gobern. Jimmy Bullard who hasn't got the best pace but has got a fantastic shot for a silver card. And Curtis Weston. And then in the attacking force we have got at right wing David Amu. Uh, I could have got Taylor there, but I prefer Amu personally. And I also picked up Jermaine Beckford, who's got a five-star weak foot, which is nice for 4,000 coins. And on the left side, we've got uh, Andros Townsend from Tottenham Hotspur. Three-star weak foot, three-star skill moves. Cost me three and, three and a half thousand coins and only gets seven chemistry because he is a little bit out of uh, formation. But I'm quite okay with that, to be honest. One person on seven chemistry isn't a big issue for me. Uh, I needed some fitness cards again, as you can see. And somebody asked me the question, why do I keep opening bronze packs to get fitness cards instead of just going and buy the fitness cards? Now, if you uh, if you purchase a bronze pack, it costs 400 coins. It's very likely that you're going to be able to sell a couple of the items in the bronze pack and make your money back. Even you know, all you have to do is sell two or three of them. If you buy a fitness card, even if it's just a bronze fitness card, you're only gonna you're gonna have to spend probably 250 to 300 coins. So it's almost the price of a pack. So if you buy a pack and get a fitness card within that pack and manage to sell a couple of items, you've made instant profit. It's not much profit, but every little helps, and it takes no time at all to open these packs. As you see, I get another fitness card there. I've got enough fitness cards now. I've opened enough packs, uh, I do believe that's correct. And uh, so we got the two fitness cards that we needed for the centre back there, Terrell Forbes, who only goes 95 fitness after I add this uh, fitness card onto him. And I added a gold squad morale card to this team as well, which I had in the uh, in the account from when um, when I got the the packs, the free packs, the the every Monday pack, the the season ticket pack is what I'm looking for. So the first opponent in the uh, in the transfer window cup, guys, we are in the transfer window cup first round. Has got a very bad team. He's playing four one two one two, uh, but he's got a one star bronze team with 38 chemistry and a manager in the wrong formation. And he's playing a left back at left midfield. He's playing a centre midfield at striker and a centre midfield at cam. I can't see this being a difficult game to be perfectly honest and in 21 minutes in he passes the ball to Amu who passes it through to Beckford hits it on the volley to score a goal on his debut fantastic stuff from Beckford here if you guys know who D. Shifty is maybe you do maybe you don't he's a massive massive fan of Beckford in this game he screams blue murder about his abilities so I thought I'd give him a try you know there were a lot of strikers that I could have put up there instead of Beckford but uh, I went for him and uh, just a few minutes later Townsend there passes the ball through runs down the left does a, a low cross into the box Jimmy Bullard gets really lucky but also scores on his debut the ball rebounds to Bullard there who ends up with just a simple tap in and on the stroke of half time Bullard doing some good work at the top of the box here passes it to Weston Weston into Goburn Goburn tries that near post shot that's saved but the guy just doesn't defend it very well at all and Goburn there gets the rebound and volleys it in on the half time mark to make it 3-0 and this is the, the kind of whitewash that I expected it to be we're into the 70th minute now and uh, I actually score a cut back here with this team and the reason being is I was getting super frustrated with this game because I I'd missed so many chances. You'll see the match stats at the end. Never really deserve to do a cutback against someone when you're already 3-0 up but um, I did it anyway. I want the five goals, I want the uh, I want the max coin bonus. And then in the 80th odd minute or around the 80th minute, Amu doing some work down the right hand side here, steps inside the defender's tackle and finesses it nicely into the bottom left hand corner to make it 5-0 and that is how the game ended. But let's just take a look at the match stats after the game does come to its conclusion. 
Rage Machine 5 SC Beast nil, and then we we go through uh, through the regular screens there. We picked up 769 coins, and we're going to the match details. And look at that: 34 shots and 20 on target. And look at where they were from, so close in the box. How I only scored five goals is absolutely beyond me. Um, so that's pretty awesome that I won five nil anyway. And we move into the second round, which is where we got knocked out of the last time around. So we've got Leone Dusut, and he's got a Korean team with one, two Brazilian players. We're now in a transfer window cup quarterfinal as you can see on the screen there and he's got a gold manager and perfect chemistry so I have a feeling he could be pretty good at the game and uh, straight from kickoff guys I, as soon as I picked up possession of the ball I noticed he was containing um, and when he contains it changes my game style a little bit so you can see here I just play the ball around try and draw his players out of position as much as possible try and find the space it's real hard to do so at times um, but if you if you do have the patience to actually sit there and pass the ball around the midfield and the defense to look for that space uh, against contain players you end up you know making an opening and we do some good work here Beckford passes it into Bullard Bullard goes down towards the left hand side but comes back in gives it to Beckford Beckford slots in and you see we've got Goburn there Goburn turns around outpaces the defender gets a cross in and then Beckford is there to finish off a fantastic team goal so I held possession for five minutes there of in game time I made 12 passes and that's a great team goal and after that goal went in this guy's uh, contained style went out the window. You know, he's a goal behind now. He's got to try and press. You can see him diving into tackles straight away there. And he's obviously a bit pissed that he's conceded. But we get some great work again down the right-hand side. And uh, Beckford is there again for the cross, for the easy finish, the header to make it 2-0. So Beckford's on a hat-trick now in this game. It'd be nice if we can get a hat-trick for him in just his second game. And in the 33rd minute, some terrible defending again leaves Townsend on the edge of the box with the ball at his mercy. And he takes a left-footed shot and it goes into the top left-hand corner corner of the net fantastic goal there from Townsend to make this 3-0 and that's pretty much game over at this point there was still some time for another goal keeper makes a huge error there in the 46th minute and drops to Beckford who does manage to complete his hat trick he gets third goal in the 47th minute so that's four goals in two games now for Beckford and D.Dot Shifty was absolutely right about his abilities we had time for one more goal in two 5-0 consecutive wins Amu doing some work down the right hand side again passes it through Jimmy Bullard with a fantastic shot that's why I got him there not for the pace but for that awesome shot that he's got so Jimmy Bullard coming through to score his second goal in two games and to give me another 5-0 win so this is us coming towards the end of the episode now guys I'm through to the semi-finals of the transfer window cup hopefully we can go on and win that uh, as always thank you for your support and thank you for watching if you've got anything to say about the series be sure to put it in the comment section below hit like subscribe to my channel if you haven't already thank you all for watching and i will see you next time cheers